Hey everybody, whatever, whatever. What's going on? sitting there letting it charge and as I'm sitting there letting it charge I'm losing my momentum so now I'm like you know what I'm saying like crazy yeah and I need to get like a refill on my lashes I know they look kind of crazy but don't judge me um if you guys want to know who I go to to do my lashes um, you can check her out on Instagram. I'll leave her Instagram in the bio below. Sorry, I got stuff on Instagram. I, got, I cannot keep my phone right here because if I keep my phone right here, I'm going to want to go on Instagram. And that's going to distract me. I need to get this done. Period. 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 But, um, yeah, so I'm going to just do a little quick get ready with me and. In between to get ready with me, let's discuss some some Instagram drama that I've been seeing. Um, if I if you happen to miss what product I'm gonna use, I think, oh my brows are on already. Clearly, I did them already. Um, if you happen to miss any products that I'm using, I'll leave them below. So let's get to it. Nothing more but to do it. <laughs> I'm using the Olay Luminous Whip. It's right here. It's been my lady jam for like a year now, actually, because I got this about a year ago now, actually. And it's. Wait, I got this about a year ago. When's the expiration date on this? Hmm. But I didn't finish it. That's because when I first got it, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was like some old lady cream from Olay that's like, you know, for your grandmas and your grandmas and auntie grandmas and all those auntie tias and stuff like that. But I, I went to the bathroom one day and I, like I just finished washing my face. I didn't have no face cream, nothing like that. Um, my face cream was in my room, I was being lazy. and. I have put this inside the bathroom cabinet. So my mom could use because all the, sorry, I just bumped my desk. But all the products that I don't like to use, I usually like to dump them on my mom. So that this way I don't have to feel bad about throwing them away. But I can also like sneak use them later on when I want to give them a second chance, obviously. So I pull this out, I use it, and I'm like, wow. It's so nice and I love it. And now I like can't get enough of it. You feel me? I do want to brush my brows out because I feel like they do look look a crazy, you feel me? I'm using the Gimme Brow. It's my Lady Jam too. I got a lot of Lady Jams lately. I can't lie, I've probably been using like the same products for like a year now. And I gotta get it together because I just like... I don't know what it is, but I get super attached to using like one thing all the time, and I can't think about using anything else like at all, and that irks me. Oh my god, I had to change out of that sweater because I was literally having a panic attack, like I was about to die. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I was catching the sweats down my neck. Jesus Christ, you feel with me? Am I the only one who? gets like super lazy when like you doing like a quick beat and you know you're not trying to like do too much or whatever you put on a little prime a little moisturizer and you don't really prime sometimes I got to admit i don't really be priming when i'm in a rush like i hardly even put on foundation like believe it or not i spot conceal 
and that's like about it so I put on the Olay luminous um, cream it does have a sunscreen in it of 25 so that's like you know my good deed for the day but I am gonna put on some eye cream because Lord knows these bags ain't gonna cure itself you hear me so I'm gonna just be putting on my belief moisturizing eye balm I love this thing. oh my gosh it's like it's like drips of water to your eyes Y'all don't understand. Y'all not gonna get it like how I get it. Well, if you try it, you'll get it like how I get it. But right now, y'all not gonna understand what I'm saying. But you feel me. But yeah, I'm just gonna be rubbing this in with the pads of my fingers. Ooh, I love putting that on. Like, like it kind of leaves your eyes with like a cooling sensation. But I just that cooling sensation makes me feel like it's working. Like something is directing some type of liquid or hydration this is the fucking foundation or bitch why well, i've been using this as concealer the whole time and it's a foundation oh see what happens when you repackage it when something this small comes i automatically think it's it's concealer like automatically so that's what i'm gonna continue using it as concealer because that's what I know I'm just gonna put a little bit on my little tray right here but anyway back to my non knowing app I'm gonna grab me a little uh, fluffy brush as such Oof. got a little itch there and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and apply that under the eye hold on because I need a mirror under the eye And then as I'm putting it under the eye, I'm dragging it out. So putting it under the eye, dragging it out. Now mind you, this is for like every day. So whenever you're doing makeup every day, you know, you not you don't exactly want to do like a lot of makeup. You, or like you don't want to waste your time is what I'm saying. Because the more makeup that you apply, the more makeup that you do, you know, the more finessing you got to do. You can't just be out here trying to scam the world and, you know, you look crazy. So when you are doing like an everyday makeup and um, you're sorry if you're talking my mom's out there chilling or whatever but whatever that's a different story. Um, when you are doing like everyday makeup you don't need a lot of makeup. So just a little bit of you know concealer or foundation of your choosing and you just apply it to the areas of like the areas that you need it. So the areas that I personally need it in is just my under eye area, maybe a little bit around my mouth, because I get like a big five o'clock shadow, like I'm a whole man. No Adam's apple, not a man. <laughs> and then I make sure I blend it down, so that this way there's no like lines of demarcation or anything like that, or like harsh lines or anything. Everything has to be like flowing and fresh and fun. I usually use a beauty blender, but all my beauty blenders are dirty and I don't feel like getting up. Just making sure I blend that in and around because I'm not trying to look like a hot mess. I just want to look like I just woke up and I'm a supermodel and I'm fresh and I'm fun and I'm glowing and I'm like looking like I'm five months pregnant but five months pregnant in the face not five months pregnant in the belly you know what I'm saying when you got that nice glow and you looking real fresh and everything and you sleep all the time because you're pregnant and hibernating so look like just refreshed you know what I'm saying I just want to look refreshed I'm not trying to do too much because I don't need too much now for my girls who do need a little bit more full coverage it's nothing wrong with putting on a full foundation and just downing it down with the eyeshadow looks or the amount of bronzer you put on the amount of blush you put on like if you just don't feel comfortable with not wearing foundation then just wear your foundation like don't let anybody tell you you don't need a girl if you want it you wear it period period you know what I'm saying I'm gonna just take my little beauty butter right here and make sure I tap it all out so it's blending you know what i'm saying 
blending and boom dark circles where raccoon lady where nowhere not here but anyway I'm also just gonna apply like I said a little bit around the mouth because I don't know if you can notice but I get like a little dark shadow right here like can you tell like over here like right here I get like a little bit of the rosy teeth and then right here it's just dark like I know I got a mustache but hold the shadow okay thank you I'm just gonna be tapping that all around Oh my god, are y'all following this whole Kardashian drama? Sorry, I'm itchy. Are y'all following this whole Kardashian drama? Because I am, and it's blowing me out of the water. So, I was actually um, watching the whole like red table, red talk table, or red table talk with Jada and Jordan, and boy, was the tea spilling. Because guess what? Turns out, Kristen fella, who I already knew was nonsense. Sorry, who texted me? My dad. What does he want? Probably to annoy me. Oh, he's just telling me he loves me. Love you too, Dad. But, um, she basically, I need to sip it is. She was basically saying how she knew she had no right being there and how everything was vibing and how it sort of, kind of, looked like she was sitting on his lap because she was sitting on the arm of the, the the couch but she had her legs dangling on his leg sis where they do that at? i'm sorry but what you don't do is try to get comfy bumpy with basically your sister because let's be real here the bitches and sisters excuse the lingo which is sister's baby daddy like that's like no no like even if they're not together even if they're not messing around they don't talk they haven't been talking you don't mess with your sister's baby daddy you hear that you hear what light skin keisha said get the fuck up on my dm if you gotta be in if that's not the really shit that i've been heard of But whatever, she gonna go ahead with she gonna go ahead with help herself. And then I just keep seeing everybody on Instagram, you know, trying to get on Chloe. Like, why you not getting on Tristan? And, you know, um, it ain't it ain't her. It's him. Like, get on your man. Why you all on her? This, that, and the fourth. First of all, says how you know she not on him? How you know she didn't tear that ass up? Like, you don't know. You don't know because, like she said, she didn't publicly, she didn't go out into the public and say, like, she didn't make it public with him. Like, oh, at Tristan Thompson, you're a bitch ass nigga. Deuces. She didn't do that. She probably texted that to him, but she's not going to go on Twitter and tweet it out. Like, that just it makes no sense. But I'm just going to take my Makeup Forever Translucent Powder. It looks like that. It's a white powder, yes, but it does not show up white on me. If it shows up white on you, girl, I'm sorry. Sorry about the struggle, because I went through that too. But this one just doesn't show up white on me. Maybe because I don't bake with it, I lightly dust it, just because I want to set whatever I'm putting on my face. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. But anyway, back to the tea. Um, yeah, how you know she not on his body? Like, how you know she not on here blacking? How you know she wasn't blowing up his phone 50 times in a row, cursing him out, talking about you ain't ish, and I can't stand. Like, you don't know. You don't know. You just know what she making public with Jordan because Jordan made it public. Let's be real here. She couldn't take the little Instagram trolls or whatever, so she wanted to speak out about it and make it public. And it's like, bitch, hold it down. Hold it down, hold it down. Because we knew that nigga was a dog. Mm-hmm. We knew he was a dog. That wasn't that wasn't even that wasn't even a part of the question. We knew he was a dog, but we what we did not know was that you were a dog. 
that's what we didn't know since that's where the shocking factor came from you supposed to be there you supposed to hold it there P.O.P. hold it down you were supposed to hold it down and you did not you fell into the trap you, you, you put your legs on him which is basically hold on let's just put that out there well, that's arguing argue with me in the in the comments because if you if you if you walk into the party and you see homegirl with her legs on top of your man's legs and she's sitting on the the arm of a couch and he's sitting on a chair next to the arm of the couch is that not fondling which would not be tight It's fondling. It's fondling. That's what it is. Period. I don't want to hear it. Am I wrong? Please. Tell, let's talk about it in the comments. Let's talk about it in the comments. Because I'm really interested to know, like, what people think. Because you think, like, what do you think? You think everybody in the media is wrong for coming at Chloe because, um... Of the whole situation do you think that she was supposed to ignore it even though she went on red table talk do you think that um you know just because she, jordan is saying she wants to deal with it privately but dealing with it publicly publicly chloe is wrong for dealing with it publicly do you think because of the situation how delicate it was chloe should have still dealt with it privately even though jordan was dealing with it publicly thoughts in the comments thoughts in the comments everything thoughts in the comments below i'm gonna go on with my hula bronzer if you don't know now you know but yeah i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer now you know just to warm up the face nothing too like um like concentrated or like chiseled out more just like you know warmth suntan something so that i'm not looking like hi <laughs> i died 27 years ago and i'm a ghost you know what i'm saying like something to give my face shape because i am a little bit of a thick girl so my face kind of chunky and my head kind of big so any contour contouring to make it smaller i do it i do it um i'll be following like the, the shade room the teens one and I was just on there, that's crazy, just earlier. And what's the name's baby mama, King Vaughn? And if y'all don't know who King Vaughn is, he's like some upcoming little rapper. I honestly didn't know who he was neither until the drama. But hence the drama, I figured his ass out real quick. So basically, um, he got a baby mama. I don't think she gave birth yet. I think she's currently pregnant. And she, I didn't look, I didn't look too much into this. So I'm just, Speaking of a recollection here, but anyway, um, they've been going back and forth because supposedly he's supposed to be messing around with this Asian doll girl. And if you don't know who Asian doll is, she is a rapper, not up and coming because she is signed to Gucci Mane. And um, you know, she doing the thing. She's out here finessing in, in, in life and living her best life and a part of living her best life is fucking around with this King Vaughn guy mind you this King Vaughn guy got a whole baby mama and the whole baby mama is messy as hell messy bitch she messy why she gonna go screenshot all the messages between her and King Vaughn and post them on Instagram basically out of him and saying how he ain't shit and how he wanna mess around with both of them and all this and all that I'm going in with uh, Flower Child from Becca Cosmetics. Hello, Flower Child. Pretty, pretty, pretty blush. Pretty blush. I know I gotta get my nails done, but focus on blush. Pretty blush, pretty, pretty. Just gonna powder up my cheeks using a big fluffy brush. This is a F50 from Farrah Brushes. I got it in my Ipsy bag. How cute, how cute. How cute, what? I'll be in tuned in the little, the little shade room drama. I'm just putting on a little liquid highlight. I'm using the liquid glow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm using pearl. Perla? Is it Perla? Yeah, Perla. That's what it's called. Perla. 
It's not faux bad, I don't know. And I'm just taking it on a little brush and I'm just gonna be applying it on my highlight areas. But yes, honey, the tea. The scorching, scorching tea. Oh, you see how nice and subtle that is? It's like healthy glow, like. Okay. I'm just so fresh and fun and healthy. I'm just using the um, false eyelash false eyelash blender from Blending Care. I got this in my Ipsy bag and I'm in love. Look at the size of this mascara one. Oh my god. Do you see how tight it is? Let me show you a regular size mascara one so you can see the difference because you're just gonna think I'm fucking crazy and I'm not. Come on, focus, focus. Okay. Do you see how clumpy and bigger this mascara is? And this is the um, volume, Amazon volume, I think. Oh, volume amazing. From where though? Honestly, I cannot remember where this is from. Revlon. That's where it's from. And that's just the regular Revlon wand, and this is the Blending Care wand, and it's so just perfect for your bottom lashes, perfect to, as it says, blend it with your false lashes, but I really use it for my bottom lashes because it's so small, it just gets in there and it does the job and it makes me look good and nice and, you know, neat. Easy love. Love this gloss. Honestly, truly, it's like my favorite gloss. It's just the perfect, like, um, nudie peachy gold gloss I think it has gold flecks in it or something and it gives me life like honestly look at that look at that look at that this is the juice okay I'm looking like I'm looking like you know I'm looking like money now